previously on Code Bullet. Hello, today we're gonna to be remaking Flappy Bird in increasingly stupid ways. Oh, why? Now, in theory, we can change the name of the bird and it should move around. If we call it Zero Bird, that didn't work at all. <laughs> also, every time we run it, it seems to f up in a unique way, which is, that's fun. That's a, I'm gonna say that's a stylistic choice and move on. All right, are you seeing my vision now? Are you seeing my genius? Let's click that every like 10 milliseconds. That should be enough. Oof, yeah, that's pretty quick. <laughs> oh no, it's opening them all. No, 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 no. Look at this. Oh no, no. Oh no, it's still going. Ah. I want you to draw a screenshot of the Flappy Bird game in ASCII art. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, it begins. The gap should split a single vertical pipe into two vertical pipes. Uh, no. Yeah, it was ambitious that that would fix it. Have I become a pipe? Yes, I have become a pipe. <laughs> that's, that's fine. That happens. Oh, he just kind of leaves, huh? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's not ideal. Oh, we got it. We got a flap. Let's get, let's get an action replay of that bad boy. Oh, that's the good shit. That's what we do this for. The pipes aren't moving. What What are we doing? Move the pipes left. This game sucks. All right, you know what? No, you can't. You can't fucking do it. Oh, no. <laughs> but there was one more, which was too awesome to fit in the video. That was definitely the reason. Not because Evan couldn't be fucked editing it together. Not because Evan is a lazy piece of shit. Okay, that's enough of that. Here's the plan. Bird, window, pipes, window. Window, windows move, Flappy Bird. Need I say more? Thank you, Opera GX, for chucking a fat sponsor in this video. I actually use Opera GX every day. Well, every day I use a browser, which, let's be honest, is every single day. I don't, uh go outside. Anyway, I love it. It's got this handy little pop-out thing, which I can quickly check my messages and stuff without having to open a whole new tab. And then I forget which tab I'm on and, and finding it again is a fucking mission when you're as much of a tab slut as I am. No, 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 don't, don't look, don't look at that one. No, no. It's got Discord, Messenger, Instagram, what's that? All the messaging shit. It's all the messaging shit. You get it. Another banger Opera GX feature that I love is how customizable it is. From shaders that change how the whole screen looks, to changing your keyboard sounds and background music and there's a heap of stuff. But if you're too lazy to configure all these settings yourself, which God knows I am, you can just see what other people's minds have come up with, with mods. All right, let's see what they got. Let's sort by least downloaded. That's how you get the good shit. <laughs> what is this? Oh my God. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. Sort by most popular. What's Pi's meme mod? Okay, yeah, that's not a great start. Mm, it really helps me focus. <laughs> There's a Doom one for people who want to send emails like a fucking psychopath. Oh, oh my god, how are they even doing this? <laughs> uh, and believe it or not, there are even ones that aren't terrible. Like this one, is just some adventures hanging out chilling. There's even a Code Bullet one. There are so many, so you can find one that fits your vibe. So if you want to check it out, you can use my link, operagx.gg slash codebullet3. Use that link, that'll get you there. It's free, and it supports your boy. Okay, video. All right, so step one is to get this little shit displayed on a window. Cody Montage, go! All right, here we go. Oh, okay, is that... Okay, yeah, there he is. <laughs> a little smaller than I was expecting, but you know, that's okay. He is very cute, but yeah, we're gonna need to scale that up a bit. Uh, and I think this should be good. <laughs> <laughs> fucking gotcha, bitch. Okay, sorry, I'll focus. Here it is. Oh, well, I mean, it's still the wrong size, and it's got the fucking grid shit, even though it's a fucking PNG. You know what? I'm keeping it. Fuck you. I do what I want. I'm keeping it. Okay, so now in Python, you can change the position of the window, which if we move the window like 30 times a second, we can animate that shit. And it should look like a game do, right? Okay, here we go. And not... Okay, it's not moving. <laughs> All right. Okay, attempt two. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yep, very funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well. Third time's oh, oh, yes, I didn't actually expect that. Yes, that's it, baby. We got it. Schmoover. Now we just need to flap it when we hit space and we are making solid progress. Okay, that looks fucking terrible. <laughs> Let me just adjust the gravity and fap strength a little bit. All right, yeah, still kind of looks like ass, but I'm sick of this shit, so I'm moving on. Next, I decided it was very important to see if I could get two birds displaying at the same time. Uh, for the life of me, I have no idea why I did this. Flappy Bird traditionally is a one bird situation, but I did spend the next hour working on this. And this was the outcome of that. Very important work, Evan, super productive. Oh, and you can only flap one of them at a time. The others just fall into the abyss. Fantastic stuff. All right, let's get back on track. Bird is done, now it's pipe time. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my, I was in the weirdest fucking mood when making this video. What is that? <laughs> what are we doing? I mean, it works, I guess. It's moving left. Okay, better, but still, no. It actually took me ages to figure out the pipes. I don't know why, but just trying to have one pipe be flipped vertically to the other one really was not easy. Ready, watch this. Yes, okay, yes, oh my god, finally. Okay, why was that so hard? The bird is fucking massive, though. There's no way that shit's fitting through. Okay, there we go. We can actually fit it now, kind of. Whatever, let's move on. Now we're gonna need to spawn more pipes, and we're pretty much down. We're actually looking really good. Oh, and the bird just fucked off. That's okay, we're here to test the pipes. Ah, what is that? <laughs> okay, we got some problems. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's on all the monitors. No. Why are they tiny? <laughs> Why are they all different sizes? What are we doing? Ah! Are we slowing down? What is happening? My computer is making weird sounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of windows, huh? Yeah, I probably should have thought about deleting some of those at some point. Okay, let's just stop the program before everything explodes. Oh, excuse me, bud. Yeah, just gonna squeeze right by you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Great, we survived. Okay, now when the pipe reaches the end, it should close its wit- It closed everything. Okay, nice. Okay, now when the pipe reaches the end, it should close- uh, ah! Okay, when the pipe reaches the end, it should close its window. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. And with that, we kind of got Flappy Bird happening. That doesn't break everything. Now we're making progress. Okay, now the game should end when the bird goes off screen. Uh, so it just doesn't keep going, you know? Oh, very nice. Yeah, there we go. This actually adds a bit of difficulty because you can only flap the bird when it's the focus window. This is something I learned when I went on my little side mission, which so it wasn't completely useless. And for some reason, it doesn't start out focused. Um, I'm sure that's something I could fix, but I think we both know that's not gonna happen. So it means you have to actually catch the bird to start the- oh, Fuck, no, okay. So this means you have to actually catch the bird to start the game. Oh my God, I got that. Oh, that was at like the last possible. Can we get an action replay on that bitch? Woo! Oh, and now the pipes also kill you. The bird is only killed if the actual bird bit of the window touches the pipe. Like, it's not including the title bar. Uh, and this was a creative decision by me, and definitely not the easiest way to program this collision. Now, I want the game to reset when you hit a pipe, not just close everything. Uh, this worked out great with no issues. Okay, yeah, I fucked up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next, I added a little score window and a little game over window with a restart button. Ah, why are you always like this? Oh, help! And with that done, I give you Flappy Bird, but everything is its own window. And sure, you can just play it on your desktop, but the magic of my invention is you can play it anywhere. You can play it in OBS. <laughs> or you can play it while watching your favorite YouTube creator. Answers short oh, and to the point. Uh -huh. so that sort of sets the scene for how we want ChatGPT oh, to act. Just so entertaining. In this case, just be a guard. Also, this is. Or you can play it one-handed. Or my favorite use case is playing it while on boring Zoom calls. You know, they worry about the pressure points that we mm -hmm. were experiencing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that you know, just having their input, Ooh. you know, um, might be beneficial. Yeah. Great point, Claire. Okay, Fantastic. So, um, yes. Sorry about that, Claire. The um, Department of Conservation are oh. part of that, so it's actually a joint okay. tourism New Zealand okay. and yeah, DOC. Yeah review mm -hmm. of tourism and it's only because they they both actually contributed to the national tourism natural uh, tourism Aotearoa yeah strategy. so uh -huh. they are definitely part of it we don't obviously okay. have a lot of any national parks but we do oh, yeah. still have a lot of crown estate okay. Okay. Oh, um, yeah. and some of the crown estate in our region mm. are obviously some of our, our oh, yeah. Falls yeah. And, okay. and lake yeah, areas really so again Jason. and along that okay yeah uh, that's it that's the video it's now time for patreon battle if you don't know what this is it's a thing i do at the end of videos it's a patreon thing you get it it's just like something to put up while i ramble uh so let's get rambling uh Hello. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a bit uh, weak for a Code Bullet video. I almost didn't upload it because I was like, this is kind of nothing. But then I was like, ah, fuck it. What's the worst that could happen, you know? I know all I really did was put images on Windows and then move them around. But I thought the Zoom call bit was funny, so I uploaded it anyway. I would be very interested to know what you guys thought about it. If you thought it's like not enough for a full video, then, you know, let me know in the comments. I mean, like, don't be a dick about it. I'm a human being, but like, but let me know. Uh, also, if you liked it, let me know. Um, you don't have to be negative. <laughs> but I would really like to know what you guys thought about it anyway the reason this is all i have to upload at the moment is i've moved my setup i am now in a garage i was working mainly from a co-working space before this so i don't go insane by myself but uh now i'm working with someone and we got like this whole setup going and we're working on some really cool stuff it's it's taking ages but that's life i guess uh and the garage took ages to set up as well with a lot of bunnings runs if you guys know what that is it's also cold as fuck because it's a garage in winter uh but apart from that it's good shit okay what else can i tell you about uh there's a lot of stuff i'm working on that i want to keep a surprise so i can't tell you that but um oh yeah i'm 
heading to open source in like a week. So that'll be fun. I'll see some of you guys there. Look for the giant loud Australian man. That'll help you find me. Well, the one without an apron. All right, congrats to Orange Joe the Mango. Banger name and banger performance. You win some free merch from CodeBullishop.com. We got like hoodies and shirts. It's standard YouTuber shit. You know the drill by now. Anyway, I will be in touch. Okay, video done. Sorry if you hated it. Anyway, bye.